My advice is don't be a script kitty. Learn how to code. Learn how to use Python because that gives you a lot of power to do many, many things. Opens up a lot of doors for you. I have to get ready. Today, we're going to check out the 12 coolest things you could do with ChatGPT. Let's get started. One of the cool things that you can do is have uh, ChatGPT act as a Linux terminal. So all you would have to do is copy this text right here. I'm going to paste the code here and we're going to hit enter. Now the first line here says, I want you to act as a Linux terminal. So we could type in stuff like LS, hit enter. It's going to list all the directories. You could do stuff like CD dot dot, right? Hit enter, it's gonna uh, move back one directory. Then we can type in ls again to, to list all the items in that directory and just one item in that directory. So you can pretty much do all the commands you would normally do in a Linux terminal. All right, so, so next up is debugging code. Now, this is a very, very popular part of uh, ChatGPT. If your guys have ever coded and you ever got a, a error message, all you could do is copy that error message and paste it onto ChatGPT, right? And it's gonna tell you exactly what that error message uh, is doing, and it can uh, write code to correct that error message for you. All right, let's let's create a uh, error. But we're gonna uh, misspell print. We're gonna call it prints. Cool, right? So we're gonna hit run, and it's gonna give us an error message here on the right side. If you guys are confused in how I'm able to do this right here, this is a online IDE called Trinket, and Trinket's awesome. So it's free. If you guys want to check it out, the links will be in the description. I'm going to copy this error message right here and we're going to paste it onto ChatGPT to see what it says. So uh, back here, what happened was when I pasted a code, it was confused because they didn't know what programming language we were using. So then I typed in, uh, this is Python code. Then it understood. So it said understood. Then it gave us a brief description of uh, what the error was. Uh, we typed in print instead of print right here and it gave us a fix. So I'm gonna copy the fix and see if it works. I'm gonna delete this code here. I'm gonna hit run. Let's see if it works. And it worked. So again, ChatGPT, you could just copy and paste your error messages and let it know what programming language you're uh, you're using. And it's gonna give you a uh, exact reason for that error message and give you a updated code with a correction. The next one up is writing code. And we know that uh, ChatGPT has some amazing code writing abilities. So let's test that mama again. I told it to write Python code to create a tic-tac-toe game. It said, sure. And it's just writing it for us right now. So I gave it about a minute. All right. It finished writing the code. So we're going to copy the code here and paste it here. I'm going to hit run. So I asked it to create a tic-tac-toe game and it did. The tic-tac-toe game actually works. So player X, enter a move. One comma one. Answer. So I typed in one comma one and it filled that up. Now it's asking O to enter a move. So let's try this out. Let's two, uh, two comma two. And it put the, uh, the O in two comma two. So it pretty much works. Ch yeah, ChatGPT could pretty much write any code for you. This works perfectly. Next up, explain things. Now, if you guys are confused and uh, you want to know about a specific thing, but you don't want to Google it and, and get like 10 different websites that you have to go through and uh, they, they might be all horrible and wrong. And you want to type in a, a question and get an answer right away. So you, you, you could do that. You can pretty much do that with ChatGPT. So I'll show you how that works. And this is going to be the last one for this video. And we're going to go through the other ones in another video. So let's just go back to ChatGPT here. I'm going to type, what is Python code, right? I just ty uh, typed in, what is Python code? And it's going to give us a uh, description of what Python code is. So it gave us a, a description of what Python code is. Python code is a set of instructions written in Python programming language. So you could do things also like to uh, ex explain that as you would to a five year old. I asked it to change the uh, answer to as if you were trying to explain it to a five year old. So let's see what happens. And they just rewrote the, the whole thing in a dumbed down version for like a five year old in this video. If you like this video and you learned something from this video, like the video, please. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and thank you guys for watching.